Sup, so, this is your boy Shepard here, and I'm gonna play some Black Ops Zombies on the Rees. It's been a very long while since I played in this map, especially myself. <clears throat> so it should be pretty good. Let's see how long can I last. I usually, if I'm playing solo, I can last up to 30 rounds. That is, that is, if I'm in my top performance, but I'm not today because I'm kind of sick. But I'll do my best. At least I want to reach round 20. This might be kind of stupid, but I just feel like playing zombies and showing you guys me playing it. So you know, uh, if you want to play zombies, just send me an invite. If you have me on the PSN, of course. Let me just get used to the camera. There we go. There we go. Uh, why did I hurt? Okay, it's, never mind that. So, any strategies that I usually do in this game? Well, first round, I just snipe the crap out of everything. If I'm solo, I mostly let everything get in so I can kill them quickly. And by the third round, I start shooting and knifing to economize some bullets, you know. But since I want to do this quick, I'm gonna shoot a little bit, you know. I'm well aware that this is not the way to play it, but I don't really care. This is my personal approach. Ooh. This is much Ooh. Than my Ooh. Knife. There we go. It's funny because I can't do a 360 when a freaking sniper. It's just impossible. Let's see how much can I last here. And after this, I'll play some Battlefield 3 with some friends, hopefully. The only problem is that I can't record their voices because that and Dazzle and Pinnacle Studio are so freaking great, man. They are the ultimate potato for recording. So, you know, if you have them, then you probably understand me. Uh, I'm trying to hear, I kind of heard something behind me. There you go. Usually I go like the back of the map around um, round number four. So when I, the ducks come in, I don't really have to worry about them. Do you know who I am? But I've been in lobbies where like round three the ducks come in. I don't know why. And that's when the shit gets really pat bad. I was gonna say pad. Why did I say pad? Kill him, kill him, man. For the love of crap. Kill him. There we go. Okay. I know there's a glitch that a friend showed me here that you like stand here and you open the door and you get caught here. Zombies can't kill you. But I don't know. I will not glitch. I don't like that. I usually. I never glitch. My friends glitch. And I'm just spending the map running around and all that. I don't like glitching. We only glitch if we want to like have fun or some stuff like that. But most of the time we like play till we die. Unless we're playing Verruk, I, I think it's pronounced, which is a horrifying map. I never last over 10 rounds. If you ask me why, well, it's a horrifying map and I just don't like it. It's. I don't know. You could say complicated for me to play in. Kinda a tight spot right here. There we go. I better than this is over here. I'm gonna have to buy this. It should be a minor operation. Not yet. It's been a really long while since I'm playing alone, so I don't really whoa. Remember how I used to play alone. I won't grab that because that doesn't give me enough points. Kill them. Where's the last one? Come on. Oh, there you are. Still one left. Let's there we go. That didn't work. That glitch got patched. So many dead. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about it, but I heard them in 
Kino they're toting. I don't know if that is pronounced. If the round ends and you quickly grab a nuke, um, it will like skip to the next round. But I think they patch it. I never used that. Alright. Uh, Give me some power, baby. Hi, mister. Bye, mister. So, oh, um, before I forget, um, some of you may have already noticed that there are no more Skyrim videos on my channel. Well, <laughs> I was making a walkthrough yesterday, and I was, and I checked on the past walkthrough, and they were kind of negative, and this and that. Low on views, I don't think people really want it, I mean, and the problem with Skyrim is that it's such a long game, it's been on my way for a very long time. And I can't make any other kind of walkthrough because I gotta remember that I got that game. So I was like, you know, I'll have to cancel it because it's literally in my way. It won't let me do anything that I want. And they, I'm pretty sure there are better people playing that game. So why would I bother playing a game where they, where there are better people than I playing it? And I'm such a you know, what to say, in a loop level, you know, I'm not even half of the game, I, I'm not even a fragment of the game. I mean, this morning I met Parthurnex for the first time, and I stopped playing, because I wanted to record something, I'm alone in my house, thank god, which I really freaking love. Hi, mister. Oops, you die. So, uh, you know, I'm going to record today and I don't know what I'll do, man. I usually don't like planning stuff. You know, like, way before doing them because usually they don't happen. They either happen uh, a way that I only want it. Or they just don't happen or they just... Whoa, fucking god, that scared the shit out of me. I'm in a bad spot here. I don't want to be here. I need my jogger. Thank God. Look all the crap that was behind me. Motherfucker. Ooh, the doctor likes his medicine. There you go. So, I don't like playing as I was saying because I don't like it, you know. And I'm kind of nervous because this Friday they're going to give me my grades in high school. I have no freaking clue what I got because the teachers are so damn great and so professional. They just got grades every day, you know. Usually, a day or two before they gotta give the director the grades, they start making work and give you crap to get a grade because they don't have anything. So much for an educational place. For the love of crap, just die. And usually, obviously, if you have like eight freaking Pryx in the same day, you're gonna get fucked. I really hate it, you know. I'm like, okay, you wasted your time talking crap about this and that of your life, and now you're pulling work out of nowhere and points to get me a grade, which will fuck my life. Fuck you. Fuck you. I mean, this year I had a teacher like that. She she didn't give you any exams or anything till like a week before the grace were were given to us. And that week you were fucked because she was gonna create all sorts of imaginary works and give you points. And the thing is, she give you fuck for points, man. And she she got well, she supposedly quit it, but I think they fire her because. She fucked my entire classroom and the other classroom entirely. Just two A's. Two people that got A's. And wow, it's the sixth round and no dogs. That's weird. And only five or six people in total out of the 50 something students got an A and a B. One A and the rest were B's and C's. The rest were D and F's. I was among the F. At least not the lowest F, but it was really unfair. She gave us a fucking novel, which is obviously in Spanish. Holy shit. And the thing is, it was in this old Spanish that I don't really understand. Nobody does, because you usually, I'm usually 
I'm used, sorry. I'm used to talking uh, modern Spanish, you know, not the old one. That is if, for example, you read uh, Dante's Inferno, you will know what I mean, you know. You got the old English words and all that, where there it was the same thing. And it's annoying, I didn't know what the hell to do, and the dictionary didn't have them. So I was kind of fucked, and she didn't want to explain the novel because we are supposedly old enough to know that stuff. And she fucks us up really bad, really hard, you know? I will never forget that bitch, man. But at least she 